Go ahead and write these notes down because if you don't do it, you might get lost and paralyzed just like my daughter did. And if you have no game plan, it is game over. Number one, you want to define your variables and write the main function. Number two, then write all the inequalities. That's going to be the bulkier paragraph. And number three, start graphing. You're going to find vertices when you graph. And number four is plugging in the vertices to your main function to help you answer the question. If you want to pause the video and read the paragraph on your own pace, go ahead and do that right now. We'll get started right afterwards. Let's define all our variables and let's write the main function. And that usually reveals itself at the end of the paragraph, the last sentence. So what's going on in this situation? You got some receptionist trying to book some money for, uh, for this vet. And the way that the vet makes money is through office visits, which is our first variable right here. For office visits cost 55 bucks. We're going to write that later, but let's define our variables first. Office visits, and let's call that the letter V for visits. And surgeries. That person is also doing surgeries, the vet. And let's la label that letter S. Those are also the two variables that we're going to put onto our graph, S and V. I just like to make that alphabetically ordered. I don't think it matters which way you do it, but let's just do S and V like that. So now we're going to write our function. And the reason why this is confusing is that most people think that you're going to graph that part right here, but we're not going to graph that. That function of S and V surgeries and her office visits is going to answer our main question of how to maximize that vet's money. And that is through this sentence right here, $55 every office visit. So that's 55 V plus 125 every surgery. Again, we are not graphing this. That is not an inequality, but this is what's going to help us answer our question later once we get some vertices. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to write all the inequalities that we're going to have to graph. So the first sentence really doesn't have anything to do with anything. Um, it's just saying that there's a receptionist doing the booking. But the second sentence is where all the fun starts. It says, she allots 20 minutes routine office visit and 40 minutes every surgery. That is all information about time. And I'm going to write that right here. So the time that they can do all these office visits and surgeries is written with this expression. 20 minutes every office visit. So that's 20 V plus 40 for surgery. You'd think that a surgery would take more than 40 minutes, but I guess that's why it's cheap. That's why it's 125 bucks. But let's just keep going. Let's not get off topic. The next sentence, and this is why it's confusing, is because all the information are all over the place. This part we're going to color in blue because that has nothing to do with time. It just says that the vet can only do six surgeries a day. And we're going to put that aside on a different color. And that we can represent with S. It has to be less than or equal to six because six is the maximum surgeries that that vet can do. It's not written on here too. And this is why it's extra confusing. But the amount of surgeries also has to be more than or equal to zero because you can't get negative surgeries. And that is the reason why I didn't include negative numbers right here. That's also the same reason for office visits. So I don't like to use O because it looks like a zero. That's why I used V. That has to be more than or equal to zero. And now we got one last part, which also talks about time. The office has seven hours available for all the appointments. And that is what's going to go right here. To sprinkle extra confusion to this problem, because they try to trick you as much as possible. This was in minutes, but this is saying that it's seven hours. So all you got to do to make that all match is convert seven hours all into minutes. 
by doing 7 times 60, which equals 420. 420 is the maximum time for surgeries and office visits, so that's going to be a less than or equal to symbol because this cannot be over 420. And we just finished, believe it or not, steps one and two. I think that's the hardest part. Graphing is pretty easy. We're gonna graph this one first. Now we're in step three. And if you look at that, that is in standard form. That inequality is in standard form. And I think this is just my opinion. I mean, you could solve for a variable there and graph it. But the easiest way to do this is by making a zero, zero table. And you're gonna get two points right away that we're gonna connect to make our line. For this first spot right here, to get that number, all you gotta do is replace S with zero, cause that's what this says. And we're gonna use the inequality above. That's gonna be 20V plus 40 times zero. And we can use equals, we're just trying to get points. Equals 420. Uh, 20 V 40 times 0 is 0 equals 420 divided by 20 and we get V equals 21 that's gonna be my first point 0 21 and then we're gonna do the same procedure right here to get this number we're gonna replace V with 0 in the same inequality so that's gonna be 20 times 0 plus 40 s equals 420 all I'm left with is 40s equals 420 divided by 40 on both sides and you get s equals 10.5. Now I got some points on the board that I can graph and we are going to do that right now. First point is 021. 21 is the number of office visits. We're going to mark it right there. And 10.50 is somewhere over here. Doesn't have to be exact and that line is going to look like that in order to know how to shade because i'm either going to shade to the left of this red line or to the right of it you pick a test point i like to use zero zero as my test because it's easy to plug in and we're going to put that right here in my test um, if i plug in zero zero into this inequality it's going to tell us whether to shade to the left or right of that red line so that's going to look like 20 times 0 plus uh, 40 times 0 less than or equal to 420. You're going to see if that makes it true. And I think it does. 20 times 0 plus 40 times 0. That is why you pick 0, guys, because it's easy to plug in. You don't need a calculator. It's all going to turn into 0 is less than or equal to 420. And you want to see if that is true or not. So if that is true, then this is the side that I shade, and for that situation it is. So that graph is gonna look something like this. Okay, now let's graph the blue inequalities. The first one is just saying right here that surgeries can only be six or less, but it cannot be zero. More than zero, but less than six. That is just gonna look like a straight line through six because that is what s equals six looks like and everything that is more than zero or less than six is going to be this region right here we don't have to color the top part because we're trying to look for the areas that they intersect so i don't have to color that blue because i'm gonna have to erase it just like this section right here i'm gonna have to erase uh, v is more than zero that's just saying that all my office visits have to be more than zero. So I'm gonna end up shading this part anyways. Again, we don't have to shade this part because we're trying to look for the areas of intersection, which is this piece right here. This is not part of the solution set. It doesn't have that area of intersection. So I'm gonna go erase that right now. And now we got that area that represents all the available surgeries and all the available office visits that that vet can do given all these conditions right here and if you look there are four vertices right there and from what you learned the vertices are going to include the maximum and minimum values of the function the first three are easy to label um, that one is 0 21 
Uh, this one's obviously a zero zero. This one at the bottom is six surgeries and zero visits, six zero. And this one right here requires extra work, which we're going to put right there. If you look at that intersection point, this vertices, it is made out of this line and this line crossing. So all you have to do to figure out the coordinates for that is to set up a system of equations. The first line is represented with S equals six because that is what this line represents. And the other one is represented with this line right here. And we can take that from this part. So we can write 20 V plus 40 S equals 420. So from there, it's an easy system because S is already solved. We could just plug that in for S and I will get my V and determine what that coordinate is. 20 V plus 40 times six equals 420. 40 times six is 240. 20 V plus 240 equals 420. Subtract 240 to both sides and you get 20 V equals 180, almost there, almost there, divided by 20, and you get V equals nine. Jeez, a lot of work. Hope this is making sense. So the coordinates for that is six, nine, six surgeries and nine office visits. So we got all the key pieces to this problem right here. All the vertices right there, and guess what you're gonna do with it? We go back to the main function. We're gonna plug those in. And I'm just gonna list all the points right here. Um, first one is 0, 021. If I plug that into my function, uh, 55, I should have put this in order, but too late. 55 times 21 plus 125 times zero, that's gonna equal $1,155. Let's put in the second point, zero, zero. Obviously, if they don't do any surgeries and they don't do any office visits, that vet's not gonna make any money. So that's just gonna equal zero. Uh, next one is six, zero. Six surgeries and zero office visits. So that's gonna be 55 times zero plus 125 times six. And that equals 750. And the last one, six surgeries, nine office visits. I think some people can tell that that's going to be our maximum, but let's just make sure. 55 times nine plus 125 times six, and that equals 1245. And if you look at this part, that is going to be our answer. The most money that that vet can make given all these conditions is 1,245. I hope that made sense. Just follow those four steps and really take your time and you will pretty much get used to this. This is like really good practice. If it did help, throw me a like, a subscribe, and let me know if you need any more math help. But until then, I will see you on the next episode. Peace.